Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. This tutorial is the first installment in a series of videos where I'll be giving you all my tips on how to build better in Taspire. From the planning phase to the finished slab that you can share with the rest of the community, you'll have all the knowledge you need to be a master architect. I would like to end phase before I start that these are my preferences and my style of building. While many tips will help you, as long as you are enjoying your work and having fun, that is all that matters. Over time, you will develop a personal style, gain speed and confidence, and I'm sure that you will soon be a most impressive builder. The multiple parts of this tutorial will focus on creating a simple slab first. It is better to start smaller and simpler to understand better how building works in Taspire. Each video will cover a different and specific topic, and I will let you start right away with the building interface and camera controls. Camera controls in Taspire are quite simple, but you need to master them precisely. If you should remember only one thing from this tutorial, it should be that you can focus your camera with a double right click. You will notice that the right ring at the center of your screen moves where you have double right clicked, at the correct height and position of your clicks. If your camera is not properly focused, your image will appear blurry and the white circle at the center of your screen will probably be buried or floating up in the air. You can then use the mouse wheel to zoom out and in. I repeat it again, don't forget to use double right click to focus your camera on your point of interest. You can also use it to move quickly in your scene. To the right of your screen, you'll also be able to change the elevation of your camera by moving the white slider up and down, or with the keyboard shortcuts, page up and page down. The middle mouse click or mouse will click will allow you to rotate from the right to left and pan the camera up and down. To move around, you can simply use the WASD key or ZQSD keys for the French keyboard. This can also be achieved by holding right click on your mouse and moving your mouse around. After the double right click, the second most useful interface tool is the green slider. Let me explain. If you are in a building, it can be hard to properly position the camera as floor and elements may be in your way. Though, you can notice that if I focus my camera in an enclosed space, the game will automatically remove the floors above me, allowing you to see inside each building with ease. Every time you focus your camera under something, the game will try to hide what is obscuring your view. We call this the hide plane, and this is controlled by the green slider to the right of your screen. By moving it up and down, you can control what the game hides or shows. Currently, each time you focus your camera or move a figurine, the green slider will adjust itself automatically. You can prevent this behavior with the little lock icon next to the green slider. Now, you can focus your camera anywhere and the height plane will stay at the same height. Final advice with the green slider, it will stop hiding layers automatically if you zoom out too far with the mouse wheel. Always make sure that your green slider, camera zoom, and camera focus are correct if you're having trouble in Telspire with the camera. The final slider, the blue one, is quite easy to understand. You can simply move it up and down to change the height of the water plane for the entire board. Lastly, you can simply hit the F2 key to be teleported back to the origin, the starting point of your board. The origin point cannot be moved. You can now move freely in Telspire, so fly away my beauties, and this means we're not ready to explore the building mode. When you are a game master, you can build at any time by pressing the B key on your keyboard, and you can then hit the space bar to show the asset library or shelf. You can open it to browse all assets in the game and the shelf can be easily resized by dragging the window border. For a quick browse, you can click the tags at the bottom of the library to highlight all the assets with the same tag or description. In Telspire, there are two categories of assets. The tiles, composed of mainly walls and roofs that can be rotated on four axes and need to stay aligned with the grid. And we have the props, that can be rotated in 24 axes and freely placed on the grid. And bear in mind that assets in Telspire cannot be resized or rotated upside down. In the build mode, you can select and place tiles with a left click. You can let go of a tile you are currently holding with a right click. 
If you want to quickly remove tiles, you can also hold the Shift key and right click on the tiles. For the rotation, you can use the mouse wheel click for a simple 4 axis rotation, or you can hold the Alt key for a more precise rotation with the mouse. Just remember that only props can be rotated in more than 4 directions. In Tailspire, clipping props and tiles is part of the official building process and is made very easy. Take any tile and when you hold the Shift key, it will now clip into anything at its current height. See that when I push Shift once, the grid appears and now my asset can be placed through the other tiles. If you push Shift again, you will exit the clipping mode and no assets will try to avoid clipping. If you are holding an asset and want to move it up or down, you can hold the control key and change its elevation with your mouse movements. You can also sample the height with the sample height button on the outer face or the number 3 on your keyboard. A faster way would be to hold right click and click the left mouse button to change the grid height to where you are pointing. Quick tip! With Shift plus mouse wheel click, you can sample the tile instead of searching for it in the asset library. Speaking of sampling, if you hit the C key or click on the sampling tool icon of your library, you can select any tile on your board and quickly display all the tiles of the same family in the library. This even works on miniatures. If you need to place an asset on top of another and not clip into it, you can hold the X key while holding a tile to magnetize it or to make it stick to other tiles. Holding the X key, if you are not holding any tile though, will make you enter the selection mode. In this mode, you can trace the selection box with the left click. You can also enter selection mode by clicking the interface button at the top with the dotted box icon. You can modify the selection box when created with the gizmos or handles that appear. It is then easy to cut, copy or paste what you selected with the usual Ctrl Z, Ctrl X, Ctrls. The last thing that we can talk about are the build light. You can toggle with the key K and the toggle water button to display the water as a transparent plane. If you're having any trouble with the K binding in Telspire, Remember that you can rebind keys to your liking in the option menu. One personal change I've made is to the control key, which changes the elevation of an asset, to a mouse button that is just under my thumb, making it very easy to rapidly place tiles at different heights. Take the time to familiarize yourself with the controls of Telspire. With time, you will get your muscle memory well trained and everything I just explained to you will be natural. Remember to double click to focus your camera one more time and you are now ready to hop into the next tutorial on planning your assets. I hope you learned something in this tutorial, have a very good day and stay creative my friends.